Good morning. Welcome to Laburnum Elementary School. My name is uh, Ms. Burgess. Welcome to my fifth grade class. Today we're going to be learning about line plots. All right, class. I have, first off, today is a special day because today is Candyland Day. Yay! And in honor of Candyland Day, I have a little outfit to put on. So give me just a second. I'm going to be put my crown on. Hope it doesn't fall. Mm. Can anyone guess who I am? Uh, Queen Frostine. Queen Frostine? Close. Princess Lollipop? Princess Lollipop. Yeah, good, good job. job. All right, I'm going to try to put that on there. Princess Lollipop. And today, we're going to be learning about line plots, like I said. So what I want to do is a fun activity real quick. I want everyone to grab a domino or some gumdrops. Take one and pass it. Take one and pass. Now when you get your domino, I want you to find the sum of the two gumdrops together and write that down in your academic journal. Find the sum of your gumdrops and write that number down in your academic, yes, please put the header in your academic journal. Find the sum. Find the sum. All right, and as we're finishing that up, I'm going to collect your data. Okay. All right, Jeremiah, can you help me out a little bit? I did not. I'll pick one when it comes around. Thank you. All right, I'll pick this one here. Jeremiah, what was the, oh, uh, Jalon, did you get one? Can you pass the gumdrops to Jalon, please? Thank you. Jeremiah, what was your, uh, your sum? Hmm? What's the sum of your gumdrops on your domino? Five. Okay, we got a five. Madison? Two. Layla? Six. Jasmine? Three. Uh, Ariel? Ten. Thank you. Next? Eight. Six. Ooh. Six. John? Zero. Okay. Ten. Right. Six. Thank you. Uh, Stephen? Okay, Beyonce? Nine. Jamez? Four. Four. Friday? Twelve. Braylon? Four. Seven. Thank you. Next? Eight. Eight, two. two, last one is a lot of data. Let's see, four plus three, yeah, seven. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. 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 seven, two. All right, now what I want you to do with your data, I want you to put it in numerical order from least to greatest. I want you to work on that, write this down first, and then I want you to make it work with a partner, put it from least to greatest. Hmm? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, so you're going. You're starting at two? So also, okay, we're starting at zero. Good. Actually, let's write all of these down first. So that way it'll be easier. Like you're looking at a computer screen. Yeah. Okay, so write these down first, and then I want you to put them in order, from least to greatest. Clap if you can hear me clap once. You can hear me clap twice. You can clap three times. I was just moseying around the kingdom, and I wanted to give a shout out to Darrell because he is doing something that I have not seen or have not done, um, and I really liked his method. So instead of writing them all out this way, what he's done is he's lined the numbers up on the side of his paper. Can I borrow your paper real fast? Instead of writing them all horizontally, it's easier for him to write them straight down. That way he can look straight down and the lines are his commas, are his barriers. Here we go. So it kind of looks like this. Mm -hmm. 
then he can take these numbers, look straight down, and say, oh, the first one is 2. And he crosses it off. And then it says 3. Crosses that off. Look, there's a 5. So I just thought that was neat if you thought, if you would like to use that way. How you doing? Put them in order? Yeah, let me see. Good job, keep it up. Make sure you have those numbers down. And then go all the way through. Because we don't want to miss one. You okay? What are you starting by one? Are you putting them in order or are you starting your graph? Them in order. Okay. Let's if you're putting them in order, you want to start with whatever number is first out of your data. So hmm, remember how we talked about our test grades? Uh -huh. If you got an 80 and a 90, which one would go first? 80. Okay. So let's look at our our data here, our gumdrops. Um, do we see a one? Follow with me, okay? Okay, do we see anything below a one? Yeah. Someone stop. Zero. Zero. Let's put them in order. Who can help me put them in order from least to greatest? Kay Beyonce. So you start by putting zero. Okay. Why zero? Because that's the first number. That's the first number. And then you go to two. There's another one. There's another one. So what he did was, and I want everyone to make sure they see that what he did was he looked here at the two. Do you stop as soon as you see two once? No. We keep going until we find the second two, until we get to the end. Okay. And Kavionta, can you pass it on to someone? Okay. Let's add one more six. Just for data purposes. Oceana? Two sevens? Sky? And then there are two eights. No, three eights. There are three eights. Okay, we come down here. One, two, and three. Madison? Two nine. Two nines, they happen to be right next to each other. One ten. Oh, two tens. Make sure you double check your data. One, two, oh, one, two. Yes, Brielle? One twelve. One twelve. Check all of our numbers so we get all of our numbers. We did. Now we're going to go on constructing a line plot because, hmm, looking at all these numbers, it's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. So when we construct a line plot, and we talked about this a little before, we're going to make our line. And then we're going to make a number line. Right? Should we start our number line at 20? No. Why not? Because they're lower than 20. Should we start our number line at 5 and go up by 5 in intervals? No. Five? Why not? Okay. What number, whisper to your partner, what number do you think we should start with? Zero. Okay. I heard one and I heard zero. Oh, I heard a, okay. Zero. Raise your hand high into the sky if you believe it's zero. All right. I'm going to go with zero. Oh, my marker's dying. Yes, I, sorry, y'all. Two. Should I, okay, should I go to two? Okay, I hear a disagreement. Mm -hmm. Why did you say no? Because there are more numbers lower than um, no, numbers. There are numbers. Are there numbers lower than two? No. Okay. So if I start with zero and two, what's my next uh, number? Four. 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 Four.
Okay, so if I go up by twos, I might skip a number. So let's go back and restart. What number should I start with? One. One. There you go. Good job. Two. Remember, you want equal intervals in between. Plus one, plus one, plus one would be three. Three. And you want to go all the way up on your paper to 12. Well, all right, making your line plots. Yes, ma'am. So now you gotta draw your X's above. Your first, you oh. Make a key. oh, first we need a key. Good job. Oh, thank you. I heard that shout out. Can you give her a gold coin, please? Oh, yeah. So our key, so each X, and I need to get another marker. Each X equals what? One gumball. One gumball or one gum drop. We'll just put one piece of gum, one gum. So, someone had zero. What else? Taisha? And then cross them off? Skip one because no one had just one gumdrop. Now go to two. How many? We had two people. Okay, now with your partner, go ahead and finish your line plot. And skip a line. Good job, Brielle. Toss those up. Very good. Hmm? Oh! Let me shout out Tyshawn. Can I see that, please? When he finished his line plot, which is so beautifully uh, illustrated, everyone see this? Beautiful. He started writing some questions, so maybe he can pass this off to someone. One question was, how many people ate six gum drops, gum drops or had six gum drops? And then he's working on the second one. I like that. It's very nice. Good job. Give him a uh, gold coin. Everyone give him a round of applause. I like it. Thank you for joining our class today. We hope you enjoyed our lesson on line plots. Go, Go Lions! Lions!